I read Little Women quite a while before I watched any adaptation of it. So I had certain expectations that I hoped would be met, mainly with some of the characters and certain aspects of the novel that they had to keep in. I don't know if I would have minded if they'd abridged it, but I have to say the 1994 version is really close to the novel and it definitely met my expectations. It was released, as I said, in 1994, directed by Gillian Armstrong, written by Robin Swicord. I hope I pronounced that correctly, based, of course, on the novel by Louisa May Alcott. And I guess there were two reasons why I chose this particular adaptation. I haven't seen the latest one. I have no interest in the latest one, mainly because there's some of the cast that I do not like, but that's irrelevant. This one I chose primarily because I'd heard very good things about it and also because of Winona Ryder. So I would have watched it regardless because I love Winona Ryder, but I have to say it was brilliant. So I'll read the description from IMDb in case you're not actually familiar with the story. And this says, Louisa May Alcott's autobiographical account of her life with her three sisters in Concord, Massachusetts in the 1860s. With their father fighting in the American Civil War, Sisters Joe, Meg, Amy and Beth are at home with their mother, a very outspoken woman, for her time. The story tells of how the sisters grow up, find love and find their place in the world. That sounds boring. If I said, or if somebody said to me, here's a film about four sisters who just live and grow and find love and, you know, come up against all of these different day-to-day -day problems or anything, I think, what's, what's in that to enjoy? But it's actually really, really thrilling. And I think the reason is that the girls are so likeable and it's, you know, we watch them grow up and mature and have these new experiences that we're kind of on the journey with them and we're rooting for them. Obviously, there are various problems, sicknesses, broken hearts, things like that. I'm not going to go into any detail and spoil anything in case you're not familiar with it. Although I'm pretty sure Joey Tribbiani may have spoiled it for you if you're a Friends fan. But that's by the by. I think they tackled the narrative very well. I really liked the pacing. I thought it hit all of the emotive points excellently. It will make you cry, but it will make you smile. It's heartwarming. It's very heartwarming. It's a lovely family tale. Very well acted. Brilliant cast. Winona Ryder plays Joe. And Claire Dains is Beth. Meg is Trini Alvarado. And... Samantha Mathis is older Amy with Kirsten Dunst as the younger Amy March. We also have Gabriel Byrne and Christian Bale. And Susan Sarandon plays Mrs March, particularly fond of that casting. So the casting is perfect. They feel like a family unit. When they quarrel, it feels like they're quarrelling as real sisters would. It's absolutely sensational. Being said in the 1860s, we get some beautiful scenery. We also get gorgeous costumes and I've just had a look just now to see who did the costumes and no surprises, it's Colleen Atwood. Of course it's Colleen Atwood. She's absolutely flawless. The film was nominated for three Oscars for Best Actress Winona Ryder, Best Costume Design Colleen Atwood and Best Music Original Score Thomas Newman. Unfortunately it didn't win any of those but never mind. It was also nominated for the Best Costume Design for both the BAFTAs and the 2020 Awards. The film did win some awards. But doesn't matter that it didn't win the Oscar. It's still, I think it's a film that will stand the test of time. Some adaptations go out of style and they become dated even though you're ad you're adapting something. This one, I feel, will be my go-to for this film. And anybody who wants to watch a Little Women film, unquestionably, I'd say the one from 1994 is picture perfect and absolutely the best one that I have personally seen. I love it.